Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to LWP MC. So today we're going to be taking a look at a super cool plugin called Set Home. It is a really simple, lightweight plugin, perfect for survival servers and whatever you really want because not only does it allow your players to set homes on your server wherever they want, it also has a really great config and command base as well as an amazing plugin page that lists all the commands and permissions there for you to take a look at. I'm going to be walking you through how to set this plugin up on your server so that you can start setting homes and getting places faster. Let's dive right into it. This video is sponsored by Atoric Games. With their amazing fast hosting, several locations, and upcoming marketplace and services, they are one of the best Minecraft companies out there for your server. With a super sleek panel, it's easy to see why anyone would want to host on Atoric. They make it easy to file manage and plug and manage your server. Check them out using the links below to get amazing deals on services and hosting for your Minecraft server. So the first command I'm going to be showing you is the slash set home command. And we're going to set home LWPMC. And so that will set the home to right there. Now if I go over here and I do slash home LWPMC, it brings me right back there. And this is an amazing plugin because not only can you do that, but you can also set as many homes as you like. So if you do slash set home Mason, and teleport away back to our other home. Then you can just do slash home Mason to get back there, which is a really cool feature. The next command is how to delete homes. So let's say I don't want that home Mason anymore. It's just kind of annoying. I don't use it. Then I do slash home dash Dell and then Mason. And then if I try to teleport to it, it'll tell me this home does not exist. For moderation purposes, if you would like, you can set to home del of LWPMC and then choose whatever home you want of theirs. So it'll say successfully deleted LWPMC, of player LWPMC. And as you can see, if we do slash home LWPMC, it does not work. The next command is also very useful if you haven't quite had perm set up yet and you're in like beta or whatever you want to use this for, it's the set home of command and you choose your player name and you name whatever the home is like house. And so then if we go over here a little bit, we can do slash home house and we will teleport right to that location. Speaking of teleporting, our last command we're going to be looking at is the home teleport command. So since we're admin, we could do slash home dash teleport of and then LWPMC and choose the specific house. So we're going to choose house and we teleported to my home called house, which is super cool. Now all the permissions are listed on there. If you want to check it out, um, I'll obviously leave links to it down in the description box below. But for now, let's go ahead and look at the config. So this is a super simple config. Basically all it does is keep track of the homes that a player has. As you can see, I've had LWPMC, Mason, and House as my homes. Since I deleted these two, they don't have any data for them, but for the house, um, I do have data. This yaw and pitch, that actually determines my direction. So if you want to be looking in a specific direction, it also takes uh, care of that as well. So it won't just point you in a random direction every time you teleport. So let's look at these uh, messages. So you can change them um, to be whatever you wanted. So let's do successfully teleported to your home. I think that just seems a little bit nicer. Invalid player, if you try to teleport to a player who doesn't exist, it'll just say invalid player. Teleport home, sets home success, you successfully set your home. 
no home, no home provided, no player provided. That's if you're trying to use the slash home command, but you don't do a home name with it. It won't teleport you anywhere. And the no player is if you're trying to teleport to a player's home, but you don't provide a player. Um, and if you try to teleport to a home that doesn't exist, it'll say this home doesn't exist. No permission, blah, 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 blah. All of these you can change as much as you want. Let's change it to be teleport success. Let's just change it to be really funny. Um, I hope you enjoy your stay. So if we go ahead and save that. So if we pop back over to Minecraft here and do the restart command, it'll restart our server. And if we join back onto our server and do the slash, um, let's do slash home house, it'll say successfully teleported to your home. I hope you enjoy your stay XD, which is a really fun way to customize your messages. So that pretty much wraps it up for this plugin tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed. It was a pretty short one today, but I think I'll be taking on some bigger projects such as world edit and um, luck perms in the future. So stay tuned for those videos. Again, I post weekly Fridays and Sundays. So go check out some other videos. Please do not forget to like the video and also subscribe. It really means a lot to me. More than 95% of the people who actually watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you could please go do that, that would be wonderful. Thank you guys again so much for watching and check out these videos on the screen that's about to come up right now.